Hi, hello everyone. This is Miss Chrissy from Glen Carbon Library. Welcome to our demonstration video. Um, today we're going to need some yarn, some drinking straws, some balloons, some scissors, and some tape. We're going to be talking about Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action there is an opposite and equal reaction. And what this means is when one object exerts a force on another object, that second object exerts the same force back on the first object. And these are called a force pair. Everything about the forces in a force pair are the same, except they are opposite. A really great example of this is NASA using rockets to launch astronauts and supplies up to the International Space Station. So what happens with a rocket is the engine uses the gas and the gas exerts a force out of the rocket and then the rocket thrusts the opposite direction up into outer space. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Newton and his three laws on motion, we have some great resources here in the library. We've got books and videos, or you can go to NASA and check out their website, nasa.gov, and search demonstration videos on Newton's third law of motion. What we're going to do is we're going to use balloons to create a rocket that show Newton's third law, just like the NASA spaceships do. Okay, so what I have here are two tables that are, I would guess, about six feet apart. You can use chairs, um, tables, I use my countertops in my kitchen to practice. Any two objects that you want to span across, we're going to take the yarn to one side. to one side, you're going to want to cut the yarn because we've got to thread the straw onto the yarn before we tape the other side down. So give yourself some extra yarn. You can use any kind of yarn or string that you have at home. And then once you've got it taped to one side, go ahead and thread that straw onto the yarn. And then once that straw's on there, you can tape it to the other chair or table or countertop or whatever else you're spanning across. All right, and once we've got done that, we're gonna take some smaller pieces of tape and put them on the straw. When I tried it with longer pieces of tape, the tape ends up sticking together, and that is not gonna be good for what we're doing. So here's my smaller piece of tape, and we're gonna put two on the straw. Make sure they're going the same. take our balloon and we're going to blow it up but we're not going to tie the end we're just going to pinch the end closed and I'm going to attach it to the tape on the straw and then we're going to let it go. If you've ever blown up a balloon and then just let it go and watched it fly all over the room that's Newton's third law of motion and that's essentially what we're doing here we're just controlling where that balloon's going to end up by using the yarn and the straw. So we blow up the balloon And you can blow the balloon up as big or as little as you want. And when we put the balloon on the tape, like this, I'm going to pull it all the way to the one end. And when I let it go, that air is going to create, the balloon is going to exert a force on the air 
air and push it out the open end of the balloon. That air is going to create an opposite and equal force on the balloon and make it shoot to the other side of our yarn. So here we go. Let's see how Newton's third law of motion acts on this balloon. And it shot it right across. So if you guys want to try this at home, you can try longer distances with your yarn, shorter distances with your yarn. You can try doing it outside. If mom and dad are okay with it, you can try going like upstairs or downstairs, all different kinds of things. You can also try filling the balloon up with more air and see if the more air creates a stronger force and shoots the balloon further. Um, you can try less air and see if you can get it to go just half of the distance of the yarn. You can do all kinds of different things to test out Newton's third law of motion using a balloon rocket with a straw and some yarn. So I'm really glad that you joined us today for our demonstration video. And I look forward to doing more of these with you. Our next one is gonna be in October, on October 10th. And for that demonstration video, we're gonna be talking about mountains and erosion. And we're gonna be using sugar cubes. So if you don't have any sugar cubes at home, you can find them at any grocery store. And I hope you join us in October. Thank you.